White House is great. There's no wonder you spend two days a week here. I'm sorry, can you hang on a sec? Gotta close this window. Melania's out there blowing bubbles for Eric. <laughs> Dad, I got one in my mouth. It tastes like soap. Tremendous. Amazing. Okay, Peter, your main job here is to go in rooms before me to make sure there's no static electricity. Don't go in there. It's not safe. Well done, Peter. Everyone, welcome to our new place. I think we're going to enjoy the Beltway lifestyle. Washington, D.C. is a wonderful city to call home. And will we be putting our kids in the local public schools? No, I would not recommend it. Dibs on the bedroom in which an intern got murdered. Oh, I want the intern murder bedroom. There's no need to fight, kids. An intern has been murdered in each of the bedrooms. <gasps> well, I think this sucks. I want to go back to Quahog. But we just got here, sweetie. Tomorrow at James Woods High, it's scoliosis spine check day. It's the one day a year I get touched. Meg, your father got this great new opportunity, and we need to support him. Let's give DC a chance, huh? Yeah, Meg, trust me. Before long, we'll fit right in here, like a cowboy in a Chinese Starbucks. This is the most strangest place ever. Yee ha! Oh, this ain't so different. This is so exciting. I've never been to a fancy White House party before. We're happy you're here, Mrs. Griffin, Mr. Griffin, and we're glad you brought your two children and former governor, Chris Christie. That's like the fourth person who's called Meg Chris Christie. <sighs> oh, sweetie, I'm sorry everyone thinks you're a historically unpopular fatso from New Jersey. Whatever. I just want to go home. Oh, you can't go home yet. We haven't even served dinner. And I hope you saved your appetite, because later we're all wiping our ass with the Constitution. Hi, Brian Griffin. They let me write some of the liberal jokes. How you liking them? Good, there's more coming. <laughs>